All right. Well, we last left off. You guys were on the bridge of the ship. Um, Can you put me there? Because I'm. I have no idea where it is. I think I'm the only one at the bridge. I was the one who started to go to the bridge first. I'm at, I'm at the bridge. Yeah. Uh, I'm still in the fucking reactor room or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. I kind of know where most people are, but I don't, don't know where the bridge is. <laughs> uh, can you see the ping Over there? All? Oh, yeah, I'm way zoomed out. Hang on. Cool, but I don't know how to get my character there. Right. <laughs> Just uh, navigate them through the little maze thing. Good luck. There are walls in the way. <laughs> oh, you just God. have to walk, man. The wall is stuck. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, as you know, the Inquisitor told you there's uh, there's an Eldar ship underway. Oh, do you God. guys all move together as a team, or are you guys securing the ship? Can you ping it again, Boko? Sorry. Could you say that again? I think he said. Oh. Shit. How do so, I even get there? Uh, I would have brought the people guarding the barricade with me. Aha. Uh -huh, how about that? I would have, because I was separated from the group at the time. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. What about the Thunderhawk? You guys protecting the crew there, or you leave them on board the vessel? The Thunderhawk left, didn't they? Nope. No. I think I'll take my librarians to the. Thunder. I got you. I got you, Dan. Hang in there. Hey, you might want to cover the dead librarian bodies on the way. The one yeah. dead librarian, yes. Oops. I can go fetch him. Yeah. Hang on, I got this. We so as your you guys going, ah, my token. Yeah, as, yeah. As you guys are heading towards the dropship, uh, your Thunderhawk reports to you guys. Uh, Enemy enemies in the hangar. And they're trying to hold them off now. Good damn, let me let me do it. Here. I got okay. you. Alright. It's kinda of weird how you have to get down there. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Alright, there uh, we go. Let me look dear. Uh, uh, he's not a bad guy. I think Karnoff would have went to fetch the librarian body and then tried to bring it to the uh, Underhawk. So I don't think right. that would be it in the bridge. Got it. So, I, yeah, as you open that door, uh, Yelmug, you see a bunch of Eldar with swords pouring in. Okay, uh, I would like to get there somehow, some way. So you can do surprise action since you kind of like, uh... yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> uh, first, I'm gonna do uh, my jaws of death, and I'm gonna do it unfettered. Is it a ranged weapon, or is that a special ability or something? It's a psychic power. Okay, so it's not a ranged weapon. Cool. No, it is a range. Well, it's a ranged thing. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, it has range. <laughs> but I'm hitting an area. They're all gonna be in the area. Um, right. So they can, yeah. So can they dodge that crap? Uh, they can, but remember, dodging is only up to their uh, agility bonus. And I'm doing this at side rating six, so it's a thirty meter uh, radius. Okay. So I use their agility bonus. Or, let's see. Like I do agility. So, roll so basically, down. the guys at the edge might be able to make it. If they succeed right. their role, everyone else is fucked. <laughs> Got it. That's pretty crazy. Yep. And I'm going to, you know, get it to where I can, you know, get as many of them. And of course, none of us as I can. Sweet. And I succeed. So that is uh, 66. So I'll do a couple dodge checks for. The ones at the edges. Uh, 610. That was not that was not the thing. I, that was not it. One, two, three. Oh, righteous fury. Nice. How many are getting <clears throat> hit on that edge there? Let's see. Nice. You said 30 meter radius? 
Yes. So anyone in 30 meter range is just automatically taking. Yeah, they're all dead. Whoever's in 30 meter range. Yeah, they're gonna take. Uh, what was that? 60? No, 50. 50 damage. Yeah, they're just they're just dead. Even with all their abilities, they just uh, get eaten by the sharks. And then uh, and then this happens again <laughs> next turn, but but they're all dead. So. Well, they are. Yeah, that that <laughs> way more than enough than kill them. Okay, cool. And then my librarians are going to do a psychic bolt further down, like here in this room, and hit as many of those as they can. Range attack, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, hang on, though. I want to see. I need to see if I doubled. I did not. Cool. Okay. Uh, and they're going to do it unfettered as well. Oh, they're doing sharks too. No, 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 no. They're not doing sharks. They're doing psychic bolt. Okay. It also has an A way. It's just nowhere near as. It doesn't double in power like uh, mine does. Is it a single target thing? Uh, no, no, no. It, it it hits and then it's got an AoE blast, which is the same damage to everybody in the blast. Damn. Yes, yeah, third. Yeah, these guys are not. Mm. And those. What's like... the uh, what's the range on the side, the side bolts? What's the radius? Uh, they are also doing it unfettered, but they're less than me. Uh. Let me. Let me look at the guy, these guys' armor ability. I think uh, so. I think they're four, well. so 20, 20 meter radius. Nope, there's nothing that can save them. Oh well. I gotta find the page again, but I think it's like a 20 meter radius on him. Uh, on the powers. bolts? No, no, on the. Uh, no, I'm doing another psychic power for uh, my librarians. Yeah, because if they can yeah. dodge the eye bolts, they're going to dodge or attempt to dodge. <clears throat> hang, on, hang on. Where is it? So, who are these Eldars? You yeah, have no idea. Smite. It's Smite. Yeah. Uh, so, their Eldar from that ship that was heading your guys' way. You right, can stop but... asking questions. You're like, hold up. Who are you with? That's not, oh, that's not my oh, question. Like, it's any meter they... within four meters of the target that I hit will get hit by this. Oh, you're asking what's happening? Well, I'm, I'm asking what their abilities are. Like, Oh, I mean, that's for you to find out. Okay. Uh, Tess has a hatred for Eldar. He might potentially know something. Um, all I know is that I hate them. <laughs> Unless he has okay, Xenos anymore. So, so uh, no. okay. this is basically going to get hit like this guy, and everyone within four meters of him is going to get hit. So probably the uh, the other two that are adjacent to him. Okay. Actually, so hang on. If they can dodge, they're going to all dodge. So I think there's, what, five in that little cluster? Yeah, we all have Xenos lore. Yeah, I'm going to roll for Xenos lore. What's the modifier on that? Uh, let's see. Minus ten. Hey, I succeeded. Holy shit. Rolled a hey, five. So good bros. Okay, they, they all succeeded in their dodge, so they're fine. Right. Are Otherwise, see... they would have taken 40, 48, uh, 46 points of damage. Yeah, you see them all backflip out of the way, basically. Backflip, dodge it, whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. <laughs> like they're, not, they're not Harlequins. They can't be doing those backflips. Oh, no, they're not. You look at them, you <laughs> definitely know they're not Harlequins. Um... All right, Boko. If they were Harlequins, I would bow down and just accept my death. What do I right. What do I know about these guys? I rolled a five on my. Uh... I'm not. Are you relaying information to Tesseract's characters and he's on the bridge? I mean, I'll once um, I after I've immediately uh, killed these guys and like librarians go, I will go. Eldar contacts in the hangar. They're surrounding the Thunderhawk. Yeah, but it's presumed dead, probably. So I'm racking uh, my brain trying to remember anything I can about Eldar. 
other than the fact that I hate them, which is very obvious. Right. So are you are you relaying what they what they're yeah what they have in their hand? Oh no no, Tony Elmug. Oh. Are you well, I mean, anything? it should be pretty obvious whether they're regular Eldar or dark Eldar. They're not dark Harlequins. They're, they're, they're not dark Eldar. Eldar. They're not Harlequins. It's just they're Eldar. Regular. regular Eldar. They're in like uh, sort of bluish black suits. But they're definitely regular. All that would tell me is just what craft world they're from. But it... right. Anyways, um, they all have swords and they have pistols. You see that, or like not swords, but uh, what are they called? Swords. The Eldar equivalent of a sword. A dire... Which is a sword. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a dire. Yeah, it's a dire sword. It's a sword. It's a it's a blue oh. glowy sword. A dire sword. Yeah. How's it uh, these aren't. These had better not be those green guys. No, they're not stinging scorpions. They're not wearing green. They're not banshees. They're just regular guardians with swords and, and pistols. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Because you would terrify me if those were uh, singing scorpions or banshees. <laughs> Anyways, um, so so you just so you're describing all that to Tesseract real quick. They're Eldar, not the dark kind. Sweet. So that's the information you have, Tesseract. So okay. You know, you know that they're Eldar. And not the dark kind. I know that they're Eldar. And then what else do I know? I mean, come on. Yes, Bunker. I, I rolled... told you. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's I great. rolled a what five. Are... No, I know, but he hasn't. Yelmug is. That's all he's. Yelmug has told you so far. No, he said like, uh, what? Uh, but he knows does... of Eldar. Yes, what what of their abilities and whatnot? Yeah. So he knows that they they have uh, those power those those powerful blades that can slice through armor. Uh, they're very agile. They can dodge uh, most incoming range attacks. So not to be trifled with, but the, the information that you are given, Tesseract, based off Yelmog's description, you just know that they're Eldar on the hangar, and you know generally that's what they're. Eldar are good at. And would I know what uh, faction they are based on the armor color? Did, did he give you that armor color? I think what was so. It? What's blue? it? Darkish blue? Bluish, bluish black. It's, it's a bluish... It, it's like navy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Your character actually doesn't know... Bluish what black. <laughs> right. He has no idea who these, what color is. You can't think of anything that comes to your... I head. can't think of the term navy for blue. No, 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 no. I'm talking to Tesseract. <laughs> your, okay. um, your character transmits the color to him. Tesseract's character has no freaking clue who these guys are. They're definitely Eldar, brother. Yes, I can see that. Thank you for your words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to re-roll your so your mind can ses ses itself. <laughs> or Tesseract can always come up here to battle eventually. I mean, I can. I'd have to It'll be all my way to the So, is that all your character's abilities there, Yelmug? I mean, that was my surprise round, so if you want me to do a uh, an initiative thing, I can. Yeah. Yes. Before before we do that, to, uh, uh, Neil Tyson, need, I need help getting this bridge up and running so we can actually make the ship operational. So All your right. characters, I think your characters last time knew the ship was not going to move unless you have a lot of crew. This is, that's not possible. I thought I thought earlier we talked about how you talked about. We can't I know you man the turrets. We can't man the turrets, can't but turrets? we could probably use the engines to steer. Can't do that either. All right, all right. Okay. Without without a crew, this ship is dead in the water. Is that okay? Then none of us would have went to the bridge then. I mean, it's good to go to the bridge because, I mean, there could have been something there. there was if something we knew there, the so. whole plan was to steer the ship to ram the Eldar ship, if we all knew we couldn't do that, we wouldn't have went to the bridge. You don't know what's there? You just I'm said right we there. know we can't run the ship, so right. we wouldn't have gone to the bridge to try to run the ship. I understand. There's little logic. But you don't want to be destroyed either, because they can self-destruct the ship from the bridge as well. So there's reason to clear. We also bridge. set bombs yeah. in the engine room to blow up the ship. Yeah. So we already have a self-destruct. 
Right, but we don't want to be on the ship when it blows up. Which That's is why right. we need to get to the hangar, so we all would have been at the hangar. Right, but right. one of you, or at least one of you, did go to the bridge and killed the one dude that was setting up the bridge to blow up the ship while we were off. That's right. So, so at least one of you did. Yeah. The rest of them. I think Dan was... No, who was who went up the bridge? Dude or Dan? Dem just me. Just, yeah. just me. Neil stayed behind and plugged the explosives afterwards. It's up to him. Where he oh, went. yeah. And Neil Mug was just screaming. Well, <laughs> 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 Neil Mug is his team. Um, well, if that's really the case, if, if we can't really fly once we're at the bridge, then let's go back to the. Yeah, you definitely have to you can't, you can't really do much. Because it looks like they sabotage, even if you had a full crew complement to get things going, it looks like they sabotage any flight controls, any of that. It looks <laughs> like they're going to send you guys to a one-way. And they're still kind of like twisted metal and demonic looking things on the bridge as well. And you also see the navigator, or what was the navigator, like uh, with his eyes plucked out and blood everywhere around him. So. Well, I head to the Thunderbird then. Uh, yeah. How long? How many turns do I have to get there? Since we're in initiative, then. Uh, three turns to be unseen, I imagine. Yeah. Since you're probably already making your way down there, so where Ericlades is, you could start there. Where where he killed him. What? What? Yes. Yes. I uh, Ancius. 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 Sorry. Ancius. <laughs> My apologies. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> Damn. I'm still alive. <laughs> that was just retcon and character death. Shit. <laughs> okay. Does everyone roll their initiative? Yeah. No. Uh, nope. you guys, so, so, yeah, so you guys can start at the breach all the way over there. So. <clears throat> okay, start here. Damn. Could you move us over there then? Because we can't cross through walls and shit. Sure you can. Oh, I'm probably the only one that knows the path. <laughs> yeah. I I'm figured it out earlier. <laughs> Alright, here we go. God damn it. Alright. And, uh, Eric Clades, you definitely hear, like, heavy, heavy bolt of fire in coming from the hangar. So you know at least your Thunder... Your Thunderhawk is still doing stuff. Good. Alright, I think everyone has their initiative. Round. Yep. And Bersora go. I move towards the hangar. Okay. I'm not sure how far it even is. Uh, it's this way. Yeah, how far are they? Okay, so they can go 36. So this, so they can get right about there. Right about there. Be right back. That's strange. Uh, what is? I can't move my character token, but I can move Kobler's. Oh, you don't have uh -oh. to. Oh. Nice. I can select my character token, I just can't move it. 
I think Bogu may have dropped me in a wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. Oops. It's coming from inside the walls. Delicious coffee. Mmm, dirt water. Hey, hey just, it's hot bean juice, please. Yeah, Get thank it right. you. Uh oh. We lost Dan. Dun, dun, dun. I think he oh, went man. to go get He's some coffee. Denied. Okay. Yeah, he's back. Dan, how's nice the coffee refreshed. that you went to go get? Uh, uh, what's that? Never, never tried that. Oh my god. You go grab some real quick too then? Turn up, go. All right. All right. Uh, I'll just stand in the hallway and activate stalwart defense. Uh, I will stand in one place and uh, where was it? I cannot move or dodge, but I can parry attacks. And for every attack, I I can attack every successful attack against me. So yeah. And the enemies don't get a bonus to outnumbering me. So, yeah, I'm just standing in one place. That's the end of my turn. Roger. Are you in the midst of the librarians? In front of them. Okay. So I don't see you. Protect me all. I don't like, see you don't, at all. Don't worry, but he's there. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm a small dude. Oh, I think I see you now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Power on, go. All right. I guess I'm also going to be moving towards the hangar, following Vrzora. Um, I think I think Moth was saying that his character is stuck in a wall. Like you put him actually into a wall. <laughs> there it is. Remember, you have a free full move turn when you're near me. Oh yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Just like that, he's gone. Damn. I'm gonna go go. No, I'm here. I'm here. Mm -hmm. All right, go. Next. I just moved my character, but everyone should still be in uh, 30 meters of me. Oh, Wait. first ladies, go. Okay. <clears throat> um, my librarians are going to do uh, the possibility shield on themselves and just kind of include me in it. They're going to do it fettered. And they succeeded on it. Uh, it's fettered, so it doesn't matter if it's simple or not. And then I'm going to do another um, another unfettered uh, oh, jaws of, of super death and awesomeness. <laughs> and it's not a double. Got it. So they're dead. Oh, especially considering I got a Righteous Fury, and another Righteous Fury, and another Righteous Fury. Uh, so there's that much, and then uh, if any succeeded in dodging at it, okay. No, they're just dead. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're, they're not built for Psyker, that's for sure. 
Yeah, and uh, and of course, uh, their possibility shield is going to cover me and whoever else is here. So everyone gets that nice plus ten bonus on a how, single roll. How far is that again? Twenty meters. Uh, I'm them because uh, they'll have done it fettered. It's just a ten meter from the circle. So as long as you're within ten meters of a librarian, you'll get that bonus. Sora, go. go. I move forward again. <laughs> the enthusiasm is killing me. There's not much enthusiasm to do with movement. Okay, they're all gone. Yeah, I know, really. I mean, that. I feel right now. Oh my god, it's my move. Murder, murder, murder. And you could just keep doing the shark thing? It's a psychic power. Oh, man. Now, I mean, it doesn't have any pin or any penetration. But when I'm doing, you know, a, a bazillion amount of damage each time. Well, each one's yeah, a separate that, attack, though. Yeah, hold up. Let me see. Their armor. I, I mean, that's true. That's true. Their armor has, okay, so the aspect armor incorporates defense, force field technology, granting the wearer with vulnerable saving throws against damage that penetrates the armor's AP, and you're not really doing uh, that. I don't you're... penetrate AP. It doesn't right, exactly. pen. You're just straight up fucking them up. <laughs> That's the only thing, because like, I can't, because I would have done that, but... Well, do they have any armor at all? They they do, but it's only like, it's 12. So it's six armor across the body, and then six toughness. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, then, then that's uh, for the first one, that's... Uh... 14 damage or uh 15 damage that i did and then they're dead already uh dead. okay <laughs> when you said 15 damage these this, these are putties man these are not not i'm not throwing like health <laughs> tanks at you guys Can you just make a putty from power rangers reference that's the loop for any D D counter right you fight a bunch of putties then you fight the big monster at the end and that's <laughs> For Diablo 4, is it not? For a dungeon? Fight a bunch of putties, you fight a big boss at the end. <laughs> Chat GPT would argue with you on that one. Really? Chat GPT would threw a fire elemental at us. We were level 4. Mm -hmm. That was you a should, boss. Uh, challenge. That was it. That was, that was what it threw at us. It, it, it came up with its own boss encounter later, but... The first enemy we fought was a fire elemental, and it was not a boss. It was just a normal enemy. Yeah, so that's a boss encounter anyways. It doesn't matter if you call it a normal putty. This is a normal putty. Oh, those are bosses. Karnoth, go. <laughs> I'm just going to stay that's, there. That's, okay. yeah, that's oh, normal. and then it tried to throw seven dire wolves at us. Yeah. Heal Tyron, go. Uh, I'm also going to move towards the hangar following Brazora. Wherever Brazora is. I'm about one turn's worth of movement away from. I can't even tell point. where the hangar is. You should be up here. <sighs> you what? You're up here. I'm thinking it on the move. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yep, I'm moving. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Are you the slowest of them all? I'm going for a uh, going for a run, which is forty eight. Well, how? Oh, that that's right. They were further ahead of you, anyways, because you're coming from the bridge. I mean, Boko sense. said we were going to get there in three turns, so I'm not even counting my movement. I'm just moving my characters a third at a time. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. That's fine. All right. Well, let me. Ju I will just get delayed one turn since. Eric, right, please go. Behind everybody. Oh, it's my turn again. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, are, we still under, head, right? are we still under that free uh, free full move thing? Well, you're not uh, near the guy yet. Yeah, so. you're not you're not near dude. So okay, near dude. so all right, oh, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Okay, uh, so instead, I'll just do my uh, uh, unfettered uh, get wrecked ability. <laughs> what a way to like make the encounter like trivial. <laughs> 
Yeah, but it's not doubled, so uh, cool. I mean, you That's set yourself for shields. fighting putties. You are. Blah, 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 blah. All right, there we go. And then uh, all three of those damage rolls are just what I do. And where's that in the middle of those guys? Yep. Right, I've line of sight. And, uh, yeah. We're still go. <laughs> if they were any further away, I couldn't really do much against them. Well, oh, God. Unfortunately, I, unfortunately my, my character them, is a very close-range individual. Un yeah, unfortunately for them, all you see is a bunch of guys with swords. You said mm -hmm. they had pistols. And pistols. And pistols. So that's like 30-meter range. That's on top of you. It's, you're gonna fuck them up yeah. before they can even do anything. Yeah. Turn they have not. Over. They have not got close enough to do anything. You feel, mug? Naughty child. Your sh your land sharks. You know, it's no, funny. I'm the land shark. My right. librarians have so far done nothing in this encounter. You know. You know. It's funny though. Every time you do that power, I think of the street sharks coming in and beating people up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that show. <laughs> yeah. I remember what those show? Stories. Street sharks. Oh God, is that the uh, one with the mutant sewer sharks that was a ripoff of the mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but they looked so much better than the mutant Ninja Turtles because yeah, they, they were sharks. gangsters. <laughs> yep, that's all yeah, I imagine him fuck? doing. He's like, go on, tree shark, kick their motherfucking ass. Ah! I don't think I've seen that. I've never yeah, seen that. Yeah, it was that. really obscure. Yeah, oh, it, was all, it came out in 94, too. Yep. But it was great. <laughs> yeah, you should look up the intro for it, Tree Sharks. It's like that uh, and Tomcats, I think. We said not Thundercats. No, Tomcats was better than Thundercats. I can Thundercats is so much better. I can uh, Tomcat, you're flying, they're flying uh, Tomcats. Tomcats flying Tomcats. What more could right. you want? Yeah, <laughs> Wait, Tomcat. I think I might be thinking of the wrong thing. Hold on. There was two of them, one fat guy, one skinny guy. They were flying Tomcats, and they were cats. It might not have been. Some kind of futuristic what? check thing. What? Swat cats? Swat, Swat cats. cats! That's, That's one we're what we're thinking is. of. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. We're old. Speak for yourself, Grandpa. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm only like, what, five years older than you? Probably. Goddamn millennials. I'm 20. I'm in my late 20s. Lucky you. Yeah, so just maybe like five years older than you? Probably. You're probably the youngest one here. I mean, I'm 21, so. Second oh, youngest. <laughs> I... Enjoy it while it lasts. Damn. Oh, no, go. Unfortunately, I'm staying in one place. I'm not moving. <laughs> yeah, you're just watching these street sharks beat the crap out of all these little skinny elf boys. <laughs> <laughs> just like in the movies. Okay. Yep. Neil Tyron, go. I mean, if they ever did make it to me, it would just be a blender, because they're just as good as melee as they are psychic powers. I am following Brazora into the hangar. That's what I'm doing. Right, you don't want to get hit by these, these, these weapons, though. I have possibility shield, so I've got a better dodge chance now. And it's all force weapons, so I do much greater damage in melee than they could probably do to me. How do I get rid of these stupid colored circles on everybody? Uh, you click on your character token and on the on the middle. There you go. Yeah, there you go. I have no idea to identify who's who. Ah. Hold on. Let me. Let I'm me do the it. purple dot. I'm the red dot. All the dots. blue dot. All the there blue dots are my librarians. There's How me. The... I have the invisible dot. Oh. The super special dot. <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> you know, Damage over time. Hmm? Uh. All right. I don't think I have a dot anymore. Like I said, yeah, I'm following Brazor into the hangar. Hey, okay, Dominguez, go. Go. Eric, ladies, go. Okay, well, uh, I mean, you know what I'm going to do. Treat sharks? You. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll spin a fate point. 
Okay, yeah, is it a double? We, Not a double. Uh, That's good. You want to just go ahead and remove them, or uh, you want me to roll? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could roll really badly. I could roll like hot garbage. Just all ones. I didn't no, though. Nope. In fact, all I rolled eight. amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. None of them are tens though. No tens. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm, really sorry, <laughs> I'm just summoning sense. spectral sharks that are beating them to death. <laughs> With their fins and what stuff, the yeah. Fuck? They're just punching them down. Giant Oof. sharks. <clears throat> I like how there's a hammerhead in there. Yeah. Hey, one really? of the street sharks was hammerhead. Yep. Really? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Never have I wanted to see a TMNT rip off more badly than after this session. Yeah, you should watch it. Uh, I gotta no. say, this is the damage that happens first, and then it happens again at the beginning of my next turn. Yeah, so technically, only have technically the moment they move into that circle, the moment it's my turn again, they just die before I do another power. <laughs> oh. I didn't know that. Well, now I know. So we'll yeah, because it happens twice. Once immediately, and then on my next or on their next turn, like when it happens again, yeah. uh, they it, they just get pulled down. Well, Brasora, go. Uh, one sec. For reference, in the uh, Death Watch Resources channel. <laughs> All right, that does look better than the Teenage Ninja Turtles. Oh, it doesn't look for me. God damn it. Click on it and you'll click see on it. it. I, I did click on it. It's still uh, not loading for you, huh? Oh my god, they're so gangster. I open it up, but yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so gangster, holy shit. Yep. I love it. 1990 street punks. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> hey. So you see an empty room, a bunch of sharks just flopping around. I also see this. Is that guy still alive? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, that'll fucking shoot that guy. Let him dodge into the shark. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Okay, let me get up his character sheet. Just wait till I unlock the Sharknado powers. Uh oh Oh, God. Oh, no. They'll take out helicopters. So you're making a shot at him off? Uh, yep. Wait, and they'll find you in serious? space. Wait, are you being serious? Yeah, if you've never, <laughs> if you've never seen the Sharknado movies, uh, which one don't? They're horrible. Um, but yeah, like they took out, I think they took out a helicopter or something, or they would, because they're sharks in a tornado, uh, sharks in a tornado. So they just fly around and take out helicopters and stuff. The moth, you just see that guy with his. He just it looks like a flash. Flash, bing! Your your little round goes off in the wall. Ooh, geez, their stats are high. Yeah, so they he hit it with a sword. It's a what's it called? Uh, graceful shield. Let's see. Uh, dire sword of blah blah blah. Let me read it again. Shield of grace. Yep, with a willing sword and shimmering force shield. He can deflect incoming range attacks that gives him a bonus to his saving throws against brain attack. So we have a five percent chance to fail. Damn. And only a twenty-five percent chance to fail in melee. So, so you what you're saying them. is it's just, just throw grenades at them or be in combat with them. Or just let them walk up to my sharks and just right. have them get eaten by their own stupidity. <laughs> You might want to start pushing out we, with those sharks because we, we got out. people in that uh, we need anger to the Thunderbird, so we can't stay here and watch them uh, get a blow. Well, I've, cl I've cleared out, I think, uh, three quarters of them so far. There's more. But you clear out a bunch. Like, it was this entire hallway and, like, just so many. Just so many are dead now. It's just puddles of blood in the wakes of the shark. <laughs> There's nothing I could do, huh? You could say that the uh, sharks smell blood in the water. I think they smell blood in the air. 
this time. Anyways, That's whose turn is it? Weird. Yeah, you're lucky they can't get in the range of you. Because you don't want them to do that. Anyways. <clears throat> It is their turn. Turn off, go. Uh, no, thanks. I'll stay. Tyron, go. All right, where's this hangar? Because uh, oh, the, the hangar, door. it's yeah, it's. I mean, you're in the the door, the passageway to the hangar, where those Eldar are, into the entrance is the entrance to the ship that leads to the hangar bay. Got it. I'm just gonna stand here. And can I see any Eldar from where I'm at? I don't think so. Can you see them now? This is going to be around the corner. If you can see them, you can shoot them. I do not see any of them. So oh, I why? cannot shoot them. I'd rather not mess with the uh, street charts over there either. They're about to go. This Oh, they should have dissipated by now, right? It hasn't been my turn yet. Oh, okay. So they're still technically there. Okay. <laughs> Dominagus, go. I've arrived. What the flip? <laughs> you just see a floor, a pool of blood, and a bunch of swimming sharks in the distance. Yep. Are they people. at least moving up? Uh, no, they're just uh, hopping in one space, basically diving in and out of the blood. Yeah, they're so in don't area. swim with the fishes. Got it. Yeah. Indeed. Okay, Heracles, your turn, and they dissipate. Okay, excellent. Well, now that uh, our team leader is here, I'm going to do that free... Uh, no, I'm just going to move up. I'm going to take my full action and just move up. Hud, 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 hud. <laughs> Your ball of death. And that's my turn. Prisora. Oh. Uh. You do have a free uh, free movement because yep. of the negatives here. I also move up. And that's it. Them. There's clearly bad guys here. Oh, I wish it wouldn't do that. I really wish it wouldn't do that. It's like, hmm, who's clicking there? Oh, well, it's the Boko. It's his <laughs> colored ring. Hmm, I wonder what's behind this corner. Hmm. Okay. Certainly not more putties. I think it's just more chum. More shark chum? Exactly. Yeah. The chum bucket.
Arnaf? I move up. I break my stalwart defense and I move up in front of people. That's the end of my turn. Okay. <clears throat> Neil Tyson, go. Uh, I'm also going to move forward up to here. And I think that's all I can do. Yeah. Okay. Domin nominate is go. All right. Going to do a free move. First. And then, what's the situation here? Hallway of blood and guts and death and Eldar. You just see a giant formation of space marines. All right, that's my move. These look like samurais. Hmm? I wonder Eric why. Quades, Eric Quades, go. <laughs> okay, let me measure some distances out. Hold on. He would also be Okay, they are outside my range and <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and make that awareness roll. See if I notice these guys. Okay, so what is it? Concealment on them. You need to beat that. Which the number of rolled or the degrees of success? What number do you roll? Seventy-five. Well, you rolled a five, and I rolled a fifteen, so I guess I don't see them. You don't see one of them. Let me do. Let's see. I think it's. Uh... Degrees of success, I just trying to remember. But well, check. either way, I still failed. You don't, you don't see the first one. You don't see that one. You can try to look at that one. Oh, it's just the one. Oh, you only Not... see you only see the one here. You don't see this one. No, I mean I see. There's two. Oh, you see that one? Oh, got it. I thought you meant the ones way over here on this side. Well, I can see both of those in my arc as well as the one immediately right here. So I need to make three rolls. I'm trying to yeah. see where they are. Yep. So there's the other two. Right. If you Which see ones one, do I see? Oh, uh, so roll your awareness against those two as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. So two more rolls from you. What the frickle? That was weird. Amazing. So just amazing. I see none of them. Cool. In that case, I keep moving forward. Okay. You would not see any of them. Oh fuck. Uh, and Brasora, go. Remember your free, uh, free uh, action or a free move. Yeah, I did that already. And you guys would all be able to do awareness checks as things come in the room if you see the uh, <clears throat> cloaked boys. All right, then I got two then. Do we see these two people? These people right here? Yes, you, you see them as clear as day. You see a bunch of guys with swords, glowing swords, running away from you guys. It's the seven people to the south that you may not see. Right. Oh, well, one of them got fucked. Moth, you see, you see this guy as clear as day, because his his cloaking device went down temporarily, so he which, popped uh, out. Sorry, which guy? Uh, here, I'll 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 mark him. I'll mark him. I can't see that one actually. I can just see the two over here. An opposed uh, oh, yeah. test. He's not in my arc. I also see two dudes up here. Well, he fell forward. You can see him in your arc now. Uh, yep. Okay, so he fell forward and his cloak because he kind of moved or something, he stumbled and went boop. He had a 99, so he fucked up big time. Oh, damn. Okay. I was just checking something real quick. So you're going to relay the information? They're cloaked bullshit uh, boys? Yep. Okay. 
Hey, they're you cloaked know. bullshit boys. <laughs> I didn't know the books okay. were here. Observation <laughs> mastery <laughs> goes for awareness. Cool. Right. So you guys can all get a plus ten to when you guys search for these things. Then I guess I'll since I saw that guy, I'll look around for the other four that I those two and those two. It's just not their day. Uh concealment is an opposed uh test and thus it can only be made when someone's looking for them. And it must be an opponent's awareness and scrutiny. So you need to roll awareness first. Based on the rule book. Well, anyways, they they failed. So 99 and a 93. So Moth's looking for them right now, currently. So whatever he rolls, I bet you anything is better. Is it better? Yeah, that looks like it's better. So I I, I think he's fine. So how many more times do I need to roll Moth? Two. Two more times? Okay. That one succeeds. That one doesn't. One guy remains in stealth, and I call out the other three. So from his angle, he could see the two up north, I think. Yeah. Indeed. But none of the others down south. Yep, that's correct. Cool. So you know generally where to shoot your sharks then? Okay. Yeah, directly in front of me. Right. That giant horde of people that need to die. So this guy's gonna come up to you. And he's gonna take he's gonna a smack. Brian, come up to me. He's gonna smack it. Right, he will. Right. Um, <laughs> and Moth pointed him out, so you would have seen him. Yeah, one of the dudes up here is also revealed, by the way. Okay. So the one you just determined is that a one point. There anyone with green markers you can see. So he's gonna hit you. you parry that. Unless you try and dodge, maybe. Or dodge. Well, it's a melee attack. Can you dodge melees? It's a parry, right? Yeah, it's a parry. Okay. So it's just an agility roll. Okay. Which I succeeded amazingly at. All right. You don't want to get hit by that. No. So he is no longer stealth. Uh, sorry, uh, did you say that uh, parry is an agility test? Yeah. Uh, parry is a weapon skill test. Oh, is it a weapon skill test? Oh, well, yes. I did even better then. Nice. Oh, man. Okay, uh, so the next guy, he's going to do the same thing. He's going to come into melee, and he's going to do... He's going to miss. Oh my god. This guy's going to come up and fire at that guy. Yeah, he's going to fire into combat. He'll do that. Why not? Now, which guy? Uh, I'll mark him. So, this guy in red. No, I mean, who is he shooting at? He's shooting at the, the guy that's going to. Uh, this guy right here with one HP. Oh, okay. He doesn't know he only has one HP. No, he doesn't, but he sees that he's fucked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, you don't we're, know. All kind of, we're all kind of screwed up. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what a rapid fire attack is, because once per game, they can unleash a storm of shurikens on an enemy. Da, 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 blade storm. What the heck is that? Uh, rapid fire. How many, how many attacks is that that I imagine? I'm looking at Probably that. two plus. It's with his sword. Blade Storm. Well, he just shot, so if it's with his sword. Oh no, no, you're right. No, you're right. Never mind. Never mind. You're right. Sorry. I'm looking at the wrong ability. So he's gonna shoot. And it's a minus minus ten to shoot in combat, right? Or is it minus, yep. minus ten? Misses horribly. And he kills his buddy. Oh my god. 94 on the roll. Nice. Jesus. So the next guy's gonna come up. And he is going to do Fury Strikes because you do it once per game.
<laughs> what do you get? Negative two. Minus two. Minus oh. four point seven. <laughs> Does he kill his other buddy? No, he tosses. He, he literally just tosses the sword. Uh, is into he the charging? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, if they're charging, they have a plus ten, I think, or is it plus fifteen? Well, it, no, it, it, it still doesn't fails. do anything. He, he still fails. fails. He, he tosses his sword into the sky, and it goes. <laughs> The next guy. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing really saves the 97. No. Next the guy's going to come up and strike the guy to the left here. Except fate points. He's going to try to. R right. And he's he's two. Oh, uh, do right. Fury Strike. <laughs> Your the, luck ran out. Yeah. So uh, is, you do multiple hits or is it multiple damage? You do like uh, full, full auto. Uh, multiple hits. And well, for each hit, you'd only do one damage. Well, I parry the first one. I can't. I don't get more parries. So, right. It, the second one goes through. Okay, so there's his damage. Oh, so he hits three times. Okay. Why'd you roll three damage when I parried the first one? No, I just rolled three for each one. So we negate the first one. The next two would land. Okay. Oh, um. Dang. He's oh. dead. Okay. So you just see it, basically him get lightsabered in half. Like his armor wasn't even there. Karnoff, go. All righty. So I'm yeah, gonna take. I, the, I'm gonna take all the markers off them because they're all visible now. Like their their cloaks are down. Actually, I would like to get into between this librarian and this librarian. So I'd like to go here. And in doing so, I would like to clip this uh, Eldar in front of me. And I'm gonna. The one without a weapon. Without a weapon. Yeah, one he threw without, his literally weapon. Without a sword. He literally threw his sword into the ceiling. Uh, that one threw his weapon. Well, still, whatever. Like, he's just in front of me. He gets fucked. Uh, I think the guy in front of you does have a weapon. The guy in the middle is the one who the, threw his the weapon. The guy closest to him has his weapon still. Yep. But he's The next guy him. between him and uh, one of my librarians does not. Okay. Now, Perry's weapon skill test, right? You're going to hit him with a sword? Yes, I am going to hit him with a sword. Uh, let's see. Since that's a Xenos now, so that's good. Uh... Yeah, okay, that's that. Nice. Get fucked. Yep. He does not parry you, and he is dead. Uh, okay, my turn. Neil, Neil Tyson, go. All right. Um. Well, I think uh, I'm gonna try and. I mean, which guys are still up? These guys here. Everyone. There's, All right. Yeah, there's still two, and and uh, Yelmog knows how deadly they are now. You do I... not wish to be high class cannons. I am going to shoot at them. Okay. With my plasma pistol. And they're within half range, so that's... Or no, they're not within half range. You have a plus 10 for hatred to hit them. And you're oh, firing yeah, into combat too, so you're gonna make it. You're gonna get minus ten because the current okay, engage. So it's just a zero. Oh no! I missed. <laughs> not many years go. Would you like to not miss? <laughs> I would like to not miss, but I don't know if that's an option. Well, you can fate reroll it. Yeah, you can. Okay. All right. Just... Shooting with a pistol, I think, is only a half action, if I'm correct. Just making a standard attack. Yes. 
I'm just saying he's got to roll over a 40 to, or under a 40 to hit. Well, he had if he rolls with the plus 10, then he's rolling against the 55. He's not rolling with the plus 10. He's rolling with the minus. If he fake re rolls it, yeah. Oh, right. okay. Well, but if he fake re rolls it though, that is an additional plus 10. So oh, failed no. anyway. Hey, <laughs> your pistol didn't it explode last game. It exploded. Correct. It just you overheated. Have... It overheat. Yeah, overheat. Yeah, it overheated. And okay. I threw it. And then we recovered happened. it after the combat. Yeah. You can throw it at them. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, throw it again it because it overheated again. It overheated it and more, more you're just going to drop it. it. Yep. I rolled a 91, so it overheated. Yeah. You overheated and the plasma dispersed into the enemy, so it, that makes sense. It's funny. Kind of funny. I threw it. I yeeted that. At who? I just the threw it at the Eldar, I guess. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he only had one HP. Dies immediately. Oh my god. I like that he misses with the plasma bolt twice. Oh he just god. throws the guy, it. It domes no, the guy and he goes down. Yeah, he has no sword, so he can't parry it. <laughs> and he's kind of focused on, you know, the guy in front of him. So yeah, he'll just kill him. Oh my god. 26 damage. <laughs> From Everybody the ballistic bad. impact of the weapon. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, the the pistol smacks him in the head with enough force to break its neck, and he dies. That'd be kind cool. of sick to see in that animation that one fan made. Mm -hmm. I hire that guy. I'm like, Hold just on, hey, like, you just your morning turn. Turn. Yeah, cool. Take a turn. Do it. I do a free move and then do awareness up north. Modifier. Uh, you're gonna get the ten from the other guys. So plus ten in total. Yeah. Plus uh, well, plus there's, twenty there's because two. of your things. Well, you see one <clears throat> off the bat, obviously, unless you fail your awareness that bad. Not really. So your other yeah, awareness, kind of awareness, yeah. Yeah, your other awareness, you definitely see the 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 other one. So you see both of them. One's cl one's cloaked. The other one's like his cloak is not functioning properly. Hold on, he might fail his awareness check. Let's see. <laughs> you need to roll for a second time. He could roll. No, you need to roll. Oh, no, no. His first five point two. I mean, he could really. He'd have to roll miss a uh, negative point six concealment. Go ahead. Yeah. No. Oh, there Deep you go. Yeah, he got it. <clears throat> then I started firing the, um, these two. I relay the the uh, relay message to everyone saying, there's two more okay. up uh, to the right side. And I start okay. firing them with my heavy bolter. Go for it. Modifier. Uh, what are you, at half range or full range? Or... Oh, they're kind of, oh, okay. So you get the plus 20. I get with base plus 42. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think you may have hit. Yeah, oh, but he you, dodged. Yeah, he, you just see him deflect those rounds. Like a Jedi. He deflected all 12 of them? Wait, all 10. All, okay. 10. all, all, 10, all, all 10 bolter rounds? He did not. He did one, three, right? You see him ding, and then he gets hit. So three of those... Okay, so are Righteous Furious uh, like separate attacks in that regard, or are they the same attack? Uh, they're separate attacks. Then you probably should roll the damage then. Yep. Well, the dodge roll is just he dodges. He did succeed at dodging it, like because he hits with the twelve point nine, but he then dodged with the three point five, which there's no difference of whatever of successes. It's just did you succeed on your dodge? Yes. Then you dodge the attack. I don't believe there's any rules with rapid fire weapons against like each separate bullet. Okay. Well, that's the case. Yeah. You just see him block three and then jump out of the way. So, how many times do I hit him? None. None. Okay. Yeah. Dodging's powerful in this game. You just completely negate the hit in its entirety. Yeah. You see him Jedi and flip out of the way. And you have another attack? You gonna do, or is that it? That's it. Okay. 
Yep, just use a dodge skill as a reaction and it'll apply a successful hand-to-hand -hand or ranged attack. Success on the skill dodge means that the attack has been avoided and deals no damage. Period. Right. Damn. Mm -hmm. And they have uh, the Shield of Grace so they can literally deflect bullets if they use up their dodge. So if another ranged attack were to come in, he can still make an attempt to dodge, which would be the, what he just said. He can block, I guess, so many bullets, I guess. Well, that one, that's different. That's an item. Yeah, Shield of Grace. Wielding his dire sword, blah, 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 can deflect incoming ranged attacks. This gives him a bonus to save. Okay, so this is the, it must be just the bonus he's getting. That's why he's dodging so well. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I don't think he gives him an additional one. It just lets him dodge better. Wouldn't it be slightly better if it's just dodge per bullet, not necessarily dodge per... Uh, I'm going to say this. It works the same way for us as it does them. Yeah, right. So I'd rather know. be able to dodge an entire attack than individual bullets. Right. So you don't I want know. that. You will die. You die. You wouldn't be able to dodge because the, the, <clears throat> the mental image you should take is he blocked ding, 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 three and then jumped all the way. He dodged your whole attack. Yeah. So that's, that's when dodging works. full auto or semi auto bursts, each degree of success on a dodge test negates one additional hit. Really? Okay, so it does go through. Wait, what? So it's dodging auto fire and area effect attacks. Let me show you. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, because, then because that's weird because the description in the dodge skill itself is just. It says the, just like, more inf info in the combat section. In the, okay. in the book. That's okay. crazy. So what does it say that's... for that one then? Uh, that's uh, page two thirty nine. Okay. Well, he's dead then, probably. So yeah. that's bad news for us, though. So it's really ten minus three point five ish. So yeah, around. basically, he engages like three attacks, basically. An additional hit. Power so he got he he dodges four hits. What kind? Of, what kind? Of, wait, wait, wait. So what? Also, what's your penetration on those rounds too? Seven. Wait, Seven. how much armor does he have? So it's six, but he has a uh, his he has a force field uh, technology granting the wearer and vulnerability saving throws against damage that penetrates the armor, which his rounds do. So I can. Make saving throws of that. Which well, basically, you would have just gotten like, uh, like that plus twenty on your dodge. Is that right? Because that's what it sounds like. Is that you're just getting a plus twenty against on your it dodge? Said, attempt. It said immunity to stuff, didn't it? And vulnerable saving throws. Yeah. And vulnerable saving throws against damage that would penetrate. So, that. so for seven hits, you have seven rolls to be invulnerable to the damage. That's correct. Now it says plus five to whatever that is. I don't know why. So you have a five percent chance of just being immune to it. Well, where has 5 a higher. five? Yeah, plus five and vulnerable. So I'm not sure. Plus so five. Vulnerable. vulnerable one hundred plus five. Maybe like you can do five attacks only or something before it overloads. I'll just give it a plus ten because that's like that was worded weird. So let's do plus plus ten. The saving throw, what saving throw would it take? Would it be a toughness? It'd be toughness, right? Yeah, I don't uh, know what this for... saving throw is, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Uh, like, wouldn't depends. your dodge roll be the saving throw? Technically? I guess that's the agility roll. That's that's the saving throw. That's the agility roll. I would say toughness since it's going through armor. Right, it's hitting his armor plating because he's getting hit. So. Although it is a shield, isn't it? Shields have different yes. rules. Yeah. Force fields can overload if you roll quite low. Yeah, they're it's R shields, so he's a. These are Eldar R shields. Eldar, so. so they're probably fine, not overloading. If it's incorporated into the armor itself, wouldn't reload. So should I just throw four four hits? Yeah, do your hits, and then I guess I'll just do. Let me go look up what the, sh the shields are for. I believe you have seven hits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, six. Sorry. He dodges four. And then this is penetration normal or armored enemy? 
Normal, normal, right? Yeah, it's our normal. Oh, I got crits. Oh, hell yeah. Right. Yeah, tell me what saving throws do they take, though? That's the question. I'll just make it toughness since it's the freaking armor. So I'll say plus. So oh. he's dead. He's just dead. He gets powderized, goes right through. Boop. So no more he's... righteous fury then? <laughs> it's just one guy running. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Well, there's a guy next to him. Like very, like very close to him. There was a shot might hit or grace. Oh wait, oh he was to the left. Where was he? Oh, oh he was here. Yeah, oh, yeah. one guy oh, over yeah. here. I don't. Let's say that. No, the... Never mind. I was thinking they're close together. Never mind. No, they're pretty far apart. Yeah, okay. So he's just a he's evaporated. Okay, and then the enemies are going so. So they can't charge in full attack, can they? They ch can charge and attack. Yes. And he's going to come charging straight at you then. Well, there's Persaurus and I can't tell who's going to Hey, uh, I didn't go. I also didn't go. You skipped me as well. Oh, the turn of got funked up. Sorry. My apologies. Uh, Bersora go. You mean All right. you mean Ericlades go? Nope. Because I'm, I'm after bugger. I'm after Dominego. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's weird. I literally was clicking the little arrow. I don't know what happened there. You probably hit next a couple times by accident to the arrows, but anyway. Uh, so they are now in range to uh, murder. We move that guy. So I'm gonna do the unfettered uh, jaws of super awesome death to the horde over there to our west. Oh man. <laughs> they ain't even 30. So, yeah, they're, I think they're all dead. Sweet. So, I succeeded on the willpower roll. Okay. Okay. Well, the first roll was just a 42. I, I don't know if that, but the second one definitely probably mopped them up. There's nothing left. You just see just a bunch of sharks. Cool. Let's go. No, I got my librarians, yo. Okay, there you go. Sorry. I'm sure he wants vengeance for his brother that got split in half. Stick. Uh, yeah, there's no bonuses in me, like, just nothing else happening, so... Uh, are, is the second guy fighting him? There's a librarian to the next to well, him? Well, no, they're they're one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All one-on-ones. Yeah, I mean, uh, just just for fun, I'll I'll use his own, you know. Uh, uh, you can make an all-out attack. You can make an all-out attack, which will give you plus twenty to weapon skill, but you will not be able to parry or dodge. No, because they need a dodge. He, right, he, he figured that out. Instead, I'll just use his own fate point to re-roll that, and it hits. This is against this guy. He does not. Dodge Excellent. Carry it. Do your damage. So it's well, that. N5, so it doesn't pierce the armor, so he's just dead. Okay, cool. Well, that was the wrong one. But he's still just dead. So. Uh, all right. Well, then I'll do the other one and do the same thing. Hopefully. Okay, that hits. It's Excellent. Oh, actually, he doesn't have a sword. He tossed it. He's no, dead. that guy that guy got a pistol thrown against his neck and died. This guy oh, does have a sword, but he still failed. Yeah, and he's dead too. Sweet. Okay. Uh what else? Oh, that's gonna be them. Karnoff, go. Prisora. Nope, okay. you skipped me again. Why do you keep doing this? <laughs> Prisora uh, doesn't exist. That's your sixteen on the board. Yeah. Yeah, which is after me. He's eight. The turn just started. Yeah, 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 yeah. You basically oh, wow. there you go. There you what? go. Okay. I've clicked that so many times. Sorry about that. So Bersora go. Oh, so the, the enemies are not missing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, they are. Enemies <laughs> missing now. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you, probably, right. you probably deleted the icon that the initiative was tied to. Yeah. Or the token yeah. that the initiative was tied to. Yes, they had 11, so I'll just I'll add it to turn order. So I flip on my jetpack, I fly up into the ceiling, and I grab the sword the one dude threw up there. <laughs> oh my god. It, okay, so you need the weapon. Or oh, did you roll for that? Yes. Do I need to roll for that? Yes. For what? You're doing a jump pack move and doing an artsy fartsy grabbing something in midair. So it's yes. a piloting check. Yes. I, okay. Yes. You're doing an art because I mean you might any bonus yourself. or minus for this? Minus minus twenty. Good luck. Going in a straight line is difficult. I know grabbing, point grabbing a twirling sword that could cut you in half is difficult. While also piloting a jetpack to get up there to do so. Isn't it stuck in this? Unit? Christ. Oh, oh, my. No. oh no. Point, right? pointing it again. Uh, isn't the sword stuck in the ceiling? That's what I thought it was, yeah. Uh, it would be stuck. You said it was. Right? Yeah, okay. Well, then, yes. It's flying up there. So, minus 10 then. Try again. Holy crap, why oh do I keep God. rolling so high? Take one of mine. Take one of I'm, mine. I'm, I'm using the medics right now. So I mean, guys, me you're down two guys, so you're down six fake points. For me. We're not... I don't think oh, we're going to use them again now. Or are we going to use them? You, you refresh fake points every... Yes, you refresh... Yeah. No, I mean, like, librarians. Yes. Uh, I'll add last game. Yeah. There we go. I just want you guys to know, those were all 90s I rolled. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's hilarious. Yep. Well, one was 100, Jeez. so... So, I'll give you the stats for the sword. It's a Void Dire sword. Uh, 3, 10, plus 5, Rending, Pen 10. And the special ability, I'll just put it out there for you. So, you got it. I'll just put it in the chat. It's easier. Do not get hit by these things. Oh, damn. You're just dead. So do not get hit by these things. Oh, so we these are Vorpal swords. Vorpal? Yeah, you know, D D, Vorpal blades, Vorpal swords. Vorpal, I don't know what that is, but sure. Well basically if you get a nat twenty on a Vorpal they cut your head off. Hitting with a Vorpal blade, you decapitated them instantly. Ah. No matter what it was. Yep. But you get a toughness check, so if something's really tough, it's I wouldn't phase it unless it failed it. But there's your stats for that thing. Yeah, do not get uh, it. Where are the stats, by the way? I told you them stats. The buyer, di buyer, Sorry, dire. Sorry, could you, could you write them dire. down, please? Uh, yeah. I can, if you scroll up. Uh, sorry, it's a 3d10 plus 5 damage. Yeah. I think. Is that is that correct? Rending. 10 of 10. Energy is the, the class, I guess. Say glowy. And uh, yell mug, your little shark thing, does that drag all those assholes into the underworld? Or would there be something left? So per the description of the power is it drags them to their doom. So there's nothing left. So the library makes the first power is successful. He centers a blast of radius equal to the side radius of within the power's range. All within the area effect make the check. Uh, any survivors uh, must do it again. If they fail, they take the same damage and impact as they are dragged below with the retreating maw. Yep, so there's nothing left. So that's probably the only weapon on the field then. I was going to well, say there's plus all... Plus the other guys that we just killed. That's true. I think you killed a couple naturally. So four yeah, five. at least four of them are dead currently. To you, they'd be toothpick swords. To, to Moss' character, I mean, he can hold it. So the tiny itty-bitty swords to you.
Okay. That's probably my turn then. Now, I'm assuming this is correct. Their turn. Yes. Well, you know what happens when you assume. <laughs> me. So. Hey, dude, I have no faith in the uh, the turn order because I didn't mess with it, and all of a sudden things got messed with. So this guy's gonna come and charge your your guy. Are you gonna parry that? You try. Of course, I'm gonna try and parry it. I think your dodge might be better than that, but whatever. no, oh. my parry is definitely better. Okay. So I have a 52 weapon skill and a 43 agility. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, librarians are meant for close range. Oh, no way. And I got a 39 ballistic skill, so I'm terrible at shooting. Literally me. Holy shit. 68 willpower, too? Oh, man. <laughs> Getting there. You're just out of range, Dominic, is for him to get you. Karnoff, go. All right. Uh, all right. I'm going to help out our dear librarians with these pests. They need it. Actually, hold on. Sorry. Where I was standing? Was I standing here? Yeah. OK. Uh, no. OK. Charge it is then. Oh, no. Well, you would have been close to Dominago to get that free 10 foot move. Or yeah, two, but free not, move. Cl not close enough. Wait. Oh, it's not plus. It's a full move. It's not it's a full 10 move. Meters. It's not a half move. <sighs> oh. yeah, sorry. Oh, then, my move yes. is 10 meters. Your, it's whatever your full move is. You got into my brain. How dare you? Okay, I'm sorry. So <laughs> my agility is bad. Uh, in that case, let's see. Can I position myself from that position? You're gonna flank him. So get your plus ten. It's plus ten, right? Two and people. Five. I'll I'll stand here. And I am also uh I'm also because uh he's fighting the librarian now to get another plus ten to hit. Yes. And yep. uh if I'm flanking sure, okay. Well I already wrote, so technically I did hit. Uh whatever. Uh damage. I'm gonna do two more hits. Because Oh he does yeah, he has to parry me one second and see if he does like, yes. your nonsense. Like he does. Okay, so that's 20. And then that's another 20. Yep. So he parries my first attack. But the rest, he does not. Does that nope. kill him? Yep. He doesn't have an ability to parry all everything, unfortunately. All right. Can my third attack go to the, the Eldar next to him? Can it cleave like after dealing dealing with this one? Can uh, I technically prefer... technically your third attack? You would have known before you've rolled your third attack whether it actually killed or not. No, he parried whatever your third attack is. Okay, cool. So no, the answer is no. Even the... And my turn. Neil Tyson, go. All right, um, I'm going to. Walk forward a bit. Oh, shit. I'm going to pick up my plasma pistol again. Because it should be done overheating by now. You and... might have to pry it from the skull that it melted through. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I evict the plasma pistol from the Eldar helmet that it's stuck in. And... Nice choice of words. <laughs> yep. And I'm going to shoot at this guy, not with my plasma pistol this time, but rather well, my... You, the guy you what? Minus 10. If you shoot at the guy above you, he's not in melee, whereas the other one is. So you wouldn't you know be receiving what? a penalty to hit him. 
You know what? You're right. I'm going to shoot at the guy above me. Just I'm going to full auto me. him with my bolter. I'm within half distance. So that's going to be what? Plus 30? Plus 20? Yep. Plus 30? All right. Yep. Okay. Shoot. Pop, 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 pop. And wow, I rolled a two. Holy shit. Yeah. All right. He dodges everything, though. Oh, my God. But it is full auto, though. Full auto. Right, but it's a bolter gun. It only has four shots. Yep. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, true. And he dodged oh. five bullets. And no, he did dodge them. You saw him move as quickly as lightning. Ding, 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 ding. Like a Jedi. Deflecting it. <laughs> wow. But can he dodge this? <laughs> you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Right. <laughs> if you can dodge a car, you can dodge a ball. All right. Dominic. I guess that's my turn then. I'll be shooting a. Uh, I'll be shooting this guy, right here. Yeah, he's probably he screwed be, now. Yeah, I'm gonna do plus sixty for everything. That was last time, anyways. Uh oh. Yeah, he could dodge he's this. No, he he already dodged. For the... oh, okay. I get one dodge. Because I yeah, his ability doesn't say he gets he gets more than one dodge. He just gets he just gets a bonus and obliterate him. So he's evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> just see him go like Jedi. De -de 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 Block four of uh, Neil Tyson's, and then Demagus comes in. Fuck this. What about a shield? shield? Oh, yeah, his shield. Let's see. I, uh, let's. You're right. So shield gets some gets something to say about this. I totally forgot. Oh, yeah, right. They have shields. That, don't they also yep. work in melee? <laughs> no. It's for... Because okay. your guys don't deal enough penetration damage for it to t trigger. The okay. shield implodes on itself and lights them on yeah. fire. Is that... <laughs> Because the requirements, when I'm looking at it, and anything that does penetrating damage through the AP triggers that that shield. Well, it's in a pen, so... It incorporates an advanced force shield technology, granting the wearer, uh, I give it plus 10 invulnerable, saving, saving against damage that penetrates the armor's AP. So anything that's below the AP would go... So it's like... Uh, so basically what you do is you roll against its protection rating. So you'd have to know what the protection rating is. Oh, the shield. Right. And you can kind of vaguely get, guess what it is based on... So it's not a toughness test. It's just a D100 test. Is it? Yeah. Okay. But you need to and know what the to... protection rating of the shield itself is. Yeah. It doesn't say. Uh, I think the standard ones tend to be between 15 and 20. Well... 25 being high end. So that the Iron probably Halo is a 30. 50. <laughs> it says it's incorporated... Into the suit, so I imagine it's a six. Iron Halo for Space Marines. Keep that in mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I imagine it's somewhere, but like fifteen or lower. The the human ones go up to thirty. They're standard human ones. So, Space but these are, are super advanced. He's yeah, which which means it would probably go. Well, either way, that roll definitely would have failed. <laughs> right. So he did. He'd be dead, yo. Right. Yeah, those. Should, uh, how, does, those how does what number does he need to get? Like below a six to. It's be it's level? below the protection rating of the force field. Then it would so, be what the armor rating is six because I think that's what it said. So it's six. They had to get a six or higher to be invulnerable to it. Okay, that okay. makes sense. That makes more. That maybe makes everything much more sense. Yeah, these are putties. Well, considering not... these are just you know standard troopers, yeah. Yeah. Because that is also like you know. Uh, you know, tabletop rolls too. Usually on a six is that invuln. Well, anyway, uh, is it my turn? I think so. Uh, yes. Sweet. Uh, my space marines are just going to uh, swarm this guy and beat the shit out of him. Poor dude. Uh, so let's see here. Boop boop. boop. Oh, no, I'm already here. What am I doing? Oh my god. How do you play this game? Actually, well, the first guy is getting plus 10. 
Yeah, because uh, there is one other person near him, and he's going to get another plus 10 for hidden. Because he still has, oh my god, and you know what, let's just have him use his own uh, fate point. Hey, he hits. He's dead. Well, you're not going to try and parry that? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me parry that. Uh, he then... already parried my attack once. Oh, he did. He's dead. Unless I roll a garbage. No, he's dead. He's just dead. He, he dead boy. Okay, so that's in the combat. You have a plus 14. I don't think you can roll garbage. <laughs> this, this guy is just a token I use to track him on the turn order. I actually have a plus 21. My so, strength yeah, bonus yeah. is the plus 14. I get an additional uh, plus 7, not a 6. Okay, Thunderhawk says, uh, what's your guys' ETA? They're holding off these assholes. We're right outside. <laughs> right, so, and they're telling you guys to jump in. All right, We're let's holding go off back. these assholes. Yeah, we just killed all of them, though. Oh, no, no, I jump into the Thunderhawk. So the Thunderhawk was having its own conundrum while you guys were why the team was that the Eldar team was coming in to handle anything on the inside. They're handling Eldar on the outside to the hangar, trying to destroy the Thunderhawk. So they couldn't really I mean it's not like they can go to the front door and stop the Eldar from getting to you guys. So they're just in the hangar. Alright, uh question. Would uh our apothecary have extracted the gene seeds from the dead librarians? Yeah, he'd be doing that automatically. And every everyone that dropped dead, he's done that automatically. It's by nature. All right. I mean, also, I'm picking up the corpses of my dead librarians and dragging them with me. Sweet. Are, Are you having your three charts drag them along team with you? Team two. So two sacrificial guys, two that are not the player characters. That's that easily that the one character that dropped dead in front of Yelmug's character could be one of you guys. How much damage was dealt? Yeah. Well, he was also low on health, too. Otherwise, he would have just gone yeah. to the crit table and would have been fine, but he was low health. He took a lot of damage from the Fury yeah. Blood. Yeah, yeah he, he did, but he was also also already hurt. He had 15 health, I think? Yeah. Yeah, remaining. So he would have been 15 plus another 12. I mean, honestly, probably should have just consulted. He may not have actually died, but regardless. I mean, he took 50 damage, I believe. Let me, let me scroll up. He took a lot of damage. It wasn't 50. 25 something. It was like 27 was the damage of the 10 pin. Isn't it more than so? There, so, like, the 15 would have killed him, and then there would have been 12 damage left over, I think, which would have killed a normal person. But I forgot about our unnatural toughness thing where we have the damage chart, so he technically isn't dead. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, let's, let's roll for that. I'm gonna roll for that for you. Let's see if he does die to die. Because he would be, like, at a 6 on the critical chart. He might have lost his limb, then. Oh! He dead. He's just dead. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. Jesus. I mean, that's not how you do the chart, but all right. These are NPCs. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it, yeah. Like, I'm not worried about him. He's dead. Damn. Bloodless. <laughs> Hey, I only lost two librarians. I'm happy. Right. But a greater demon, and I only lost two librarians. Considering we fought, actually, we, we fought two greater war immunities on this show. Well, there was like the super big one, and then there was the crazy uh, Tyranid demon thing. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. And, the, and then uh, there was a void entity itself. Yep. Yeah, but my librarians didn't fight that. Nope, it was just you guys. Just it was in. just uh, the holy hand grenade and then us. Yeah. Without that, that probably would have been you guys. Oh, we... oh God. Yeah, five people. Yeah. Five <laughs> people. I'm gonna give them a little little item and see if they use it. Like, oh yeah, crack. Yeah, grenade. So, on a scale of one to ten, how dark would it be if I dragged a couple of these Eldar corpses on board with us? Oh, no, none whatsoever. Not, not very. No, you you do. Do. I was half tempted to just uh, pick up one of their skulls and attach it to my belt. You I'll, can if you want to. I had different ideas, but sure. I mean, that's kind of what I would do. So I'm just going to. Emergency food. Sneakily grab one of them, rip off its head, and just kind of 
trophy. On Why would you have to sneakily do that? Space Marines just take trophies. I would like to. It depends on the chapter. Uh, Most of them what, do it. Carnal, what are you doing? I would like to pick one of their swords as well and just bring it with me. It's a tiny toothpick in your hand, but you got it. Hell, might as well grab all of the swords. Uh, oh, there sure. are, I think there was seven viable ones. No, no, nine viable ones. Because two up north, seven down the south. Plus the one you got, Ma. Oh, no, that's actually, that's all of them. Because the one that you got was from one of the seven. So there's nine viable swords so you can pick up. Nice. Everyone else was eaten by the street sharks. <laughs> street sharks, move out. They're in the warp <laughs> now. All right. Uh, you guys want to end it here? Good, 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 good ending point. Sure. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Short, you like short and sweet session this time. Well, wait, hey, we, we made it more than a hundred meters, guys. We did it. We made yeah, it. Yeah. Woo. In a single session, we went all the way back. I'm American. <laughs> what the fuck is a meter? Yeah, you're exfiltrating now. So next is the, the hangar to the Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm guy. sorry, Tess. We we made about 300. American yards. Ah. <laughs> well, that was... So, no. <laughs> we made it three football fields. A meter is pretty equivalent to a yard, so if we made it 100 meters, it's close 100 to 100 yards. yards. It's not exactly, but it's pretty similar to it. Yard is like... Well, we did travel about... Well, in reality, we kind of did travel about a kilometer. Yard is three feet, a meter is... A Three little, and a half. yeah, yeah. Let's see what's the whole span of the fucking map. Yeah, it's a kilometer. Can you tell okay. me that distance, but in football fields? One. Three of them. Ah. Maybe? No. <laughs> one football field, a hundred yards. Got it. That was that one session. You guys get oh, seven hundred right. experience points we for that. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Yeah. Seven hundred. Okay. Yo. okay. How much renown do we get for it? A big two? We haven't blown it up yet. Oh, that's true, we haven't blown the ship up yet. Mission's not over yet. Yeah, you haven't true. blown the ship and you haven't de dealt with the Eldar scum. There's still an Eldar capital ship right outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if we just board them. <laughs> we might blow up there. We might have to. Up there, uh, void ship. What if uh, the Eldar ship gets tainted by the warp entities as well, then they'll have to deal with all that bullshit. Well, we killed the warp entity. Ah. Well, uh, well the Adrax was telling you they made a deal with the damn thing. Oh, right. But you you guys... Another pissed we got rid of it. Right. Because that was our only hope to get rid of some or whatever, whatever promise it made to them. So they're yeah. a little pissed, and they want you dead, and they want to see if they can bring it back, possibly. Obviously. Ooh. By the way, is anybody wounded? Oh, I'm very I'm wounded. terribly wounded. I All right, am also then. slightly wounded. You wouldn't have time to heal because you're still technically would be in combat because you're going to the hangar bay where there's more Eldar. Oh, I thought this was the hangar bay that we just carved our way through. You carved your way into the airlock to the hangar bay. Oh. That makes oh. sense. Damn. But yeah, you're right outside the hangar bay door. You're just... A, here in transition hangar bay because the hangar or I'll show you what the hangar would be. You actually seen that you've seen that room before. We could also just not go in and take a moment to heal up. Right, but our Thunderhawk is currently besieged by Eldar. I think you right. could handle Here's it. Here's the gold. Alone. Once I mean, we're in the Thunder once we're in the Thunderhawk. It depends on how close they are to each other. Oh, remember okay. the tank? Yes. Yeah, yeah. This, this would be the area that this is the hangar bay area itself. So your ship would be on the far side over here. So the next session, you guys will not fight your fight again. So I'll have it all set up for next session. So sweet. You'll be fighting your way to the besieged Thunderhawk. Boko, thank all you right. again for another awesome session. I'm looking forward to the next one. Yeah, I'm just glad none of you guys got hit by those blades. So, like that would have been unfortunate having to kill you guys. Yeah, well, I lost a librarian to one. What do you mean? One of us did get hit by it. <laughs> K 
Can I, like, as a tech marine, take all the blades and, like, melt them down and make one big one or something? That's That was my it? thought process. You would be Same. able to but there build are a new weapon out of all. They're like, they're like uh, energy blades. Yeah, you can study them or something. Take them sure. apart and build a new weapon using the parts is what I thought. Yeah. That's yeah, that's fine. I can allow that. It'll take you some time. It ain't gonna happen now. And we're definitely gonna need a ship to do it on, because I doubt you're gonna be able to do it on a Thunderhawk. I think the Thunderhawk is in dire straits, <laughs> gentlemen. I think we're in dire straits. Yeah, no we're shit. We're alone, we have a Thunderhawk, and we're facing down a Eldar capital ship. Yeah, but we're also Death Watch. We're always in dire straits. Yeah. That's Speak for yourself. I'm Inquisition. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Bye. Uh, you say this is bad or like first time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well usually I don't deal with Xenos. I deal with heretics. So, yes. Yeah, your character's like, what the fuck? But yeah, your character can easily hold those those uh, swords that Eldar have because they're similar stature to you, to you but the space marines they're like yeah little itty bitty man mm -hmm. they're like knives size to us or something yeah knife dagger Tooth whatever I, i'd imagine it's like those little um sandwich toothpicks yeah you have like a little sandwich sword and you're just like nyeh, nyeh. <laughs> <laughs> put them on like on, e on each of your fingers and like you have like a fucking wolverine oh, there you go. On you. yeah yeah, that'd be kind of neat. He's, yeah, you could probably lash it, lash three of them to your gauntlet. What? But I'm not a it's space a shame wolf. None of you are, yeah, it's a shame none of you are space wolves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I think we're done here. Oh, yeah. I will see you all next week. See you next week. See ya. See you. See you. We got off the hangar. <laughs>